why is this we know acceptable? You're lying. Why is it what acceptable? Like, why do you guys feel like we as Arch. women should be like, okay, it's fine, you guys? You should read the in. Quran. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my God. What? What? Come together again with one of my charity who I trust, alhamdulillah, who had the 100% donation policy. We are now raising funds to build houses for those who have been homeless due to natural disasters in Afghanistan, Syria, and Pakistan. Please donate whatever you can. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build you guys at home for helping and enabling them to have a house. So guys, we're going to be reacting to a video from Fresh and Fit, or shall I call it Haram and Fitna. Why? Because there are still things that they're saying on that uh, program, which is very, very absurd because they are misrepresenting Islam as if Islam says or allows these things, which is absolutely wrong. Now, Sneeko came to Islam, Andrew Tate came to Islam, may Allah preserve them. And Myron is a born Muslim himself, but he, sa he himself says some very outrageous stuff, and I'm being just here. Now, is there a lot of facts Myron speaks? Yes, he does. I've bought his book called, um, I think it's called Why Women Deserve Less, or something along, along those lines, okay? Just to see what he said. Now, there is a lot of facts in there, and there's some extreme things that he says. We follow Islam, we don't follow the red pill or the feminism, both man-made, woman-made laws. Let's watch this video and let's see what they are saying on the show and how it is absolutely false and a big fat lie and slander against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent in his kitab, which is the Quran. Let's watch it for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I want to know. Why would that work? I want to know. Well, I mean, I would think, I don't know if I'm speaking for the majority here or not, but my man is my man. Like, I don't care if you thought that you wanted to do things with multiple women, like then... We're not meant to be together, I feel. Okay, do you think that men actually really want to be monogamous with one girl? Some do, yes. I do no, they don't. That. The answer is no. No, you can't speak on behalf of everyone. I can, I can tell you, here's Maybe the thing. Maybe the majority If is... I lined up 100 dudes and I told them, listen, you can have four girls or one girl, and I promise you that girl won't get mad. She'll let you have sex with other girls. She won't get mad. They'll take the four girls. Yep. Most guys are monogamous because of women like you that tell them, if you... Girl, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's I'm why most guys it. are monogamous because most girls like you two right now can't take the truth. And yep. also, just after that point as well, that's why they lie. Then if they tell you the truth, you're gonna leave. So it's like, you know what? I'll tell her what she wants to hear so I can stay in the, in the, in the good grace. But on the side, I'm gonna hit at Betty at four in the morning. While you're why asleep. is this we acceptable? Know when you're lying. Why is it what acceptable? Like, why do you guys feel like we as Arch. women should be like, okay, it's fine. You guys, you should read the in. Quran. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my God! What, what? So, guys, you saw that for yourself. Yeah, this notion, this perception, this thing that they are propagating, which that a man can commit zina, a man can have as many, you know, sleep around. Do whatever he likes, but if it's a woman, uh, uh, uh. Now, there's two angles to this, which we need to understand. Number one, in Islam, in the Sharia, categorically clear, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, for those who commit sex outside of marriage, if they are both unmarried, there is the punishment of a hundred lashes for them having sex outside of marriage. If they are married, there is a capital punishment, clear cut capital punishment because we know how the breakdown of the family unit has an impact on the whole society as a whole they're, they're, so therefore the capital punishment is the same for a man and a woman it doesn't say just for a man but not for uh, or just for a man, woman but not for a man no in the hair of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him was uh, he saw something it was a dream something it wasn't a dream that he saw a group of people in an oven yes and they were burning and who were these these were men and women not women who committed adultery, yes, sex outside of marriage, both men and women. Islam does not differentiate when it comes to the act of haram, zina, if it's done by a man or a woman. Now, if we're seeing the consequences socially is different, of course. It is different, sadly. It shouldn't be like that. Sadly, it's different. Because if a woman, for example, has intimacy with more than one man, that will have an impact on the man that chooses to marry her. That's the reality. That's that is a sad reality that we live in that, that how men are created when they make this decision they don't give a damn about her career she's a millionaire they don't give a damn i even done a social experiment about this a man doesn't give a damn you've slept with around the block of 10 20 men no man wants to marry you simple as that but for a man sadly the other way is true however this does not give a muslim man or anyone for that matter to say yeah i can go and commit zina because there's no social implications etc no this is false so, I want to make a category clear to Myron. I don't know if Sneeko said anything like that. Yeah, okay. And they're putting these buzzers there like, Allah, Akbar, etc. It's not a joke. It's not funny, guys. Okay, there's a lot of truth you guys speak. I understand. However, this propagation that you're propagating of, yeah, in Islam it's okay. No, it is not. It is not. However, can a man have four wives? Yes, he can. 
and he's not criminalized for that. He's not guilty for that. That is in his biology. So he is created like that, 100%. A man has, can have more than one wife, two, three, four wives. And why? This is sent down to protect the woman. This is sent down so a man who has this inclination, this propensity to do these things of having more, more than one woman in his life, he does it the right way. He doesn't have mistresses, side chicks and girlfriends. He can use and abuse like their toilet. You know a toilet when you feel like you need to go use the toilet and relieve yourself and you find the toilet and you just, whoa, go in. I mean, number one, number two, woof, yeah? Stink up the whole place, yeah? So the same with a man. He has these propensities and his inclinations. So he's using this woman by, you know, penetrating her, you know, ejaculating inside her like she's a toilet. Islam says no. If you are going to do it, you are going to do it in an honourable way by honouring the second wife. Number one, speaking to her father. Number two, getting to know her in a halal way. Not let me test drive. If I don't like it, then you can go. No, not use an abuser. Then you marry her. Then you do a wedding. Then you give her a, a, a dowry, which she can choose. Money, gold, car, whatever she wants. It's totally up to Islam. Gives her the right to ask for whatever she likes. That is her security. And announce the marriage. It's not hidden. It is announced and then you are the protector and the provider for the second wife as well and you do not favor one over the other because the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said the man who favors one wife over the other will come on the day of judgment his body leaning on one side it is not a joke it's a serious matter so for anybody in fresh and fit who is propagating that Islam allows a man to go sleep around this is a big fat lie and it's a slander one of the biggest sins in Islam like equate to shirk is what for you to say a statement about Allah that Allah didn't say for himself. Yes, you do not say it. And we know it from the narration of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I think it's from Bani Israel. That there was a man who saw his brother sinning <coughs> over and over again. And one day he would always scold his brother. Don't, stop sinning, stop sinning. And this brother of his himself was very righteous. So he would keep warning him. And one day he came to him and said, you are going to go hellfire. You're never going to go Jannah. They both die and they both come to the presence of God Almighty. And Allah says to the man, did you tell him that he's going hellfire? Yes. He says, indeed, you're going hellfire because you have said a statement about me without no knowledge. You're going hellfire. And that man who he, he said to his brother, he's going hellfire, went to paradise. Why? Because you cannot utter a statement on behalf of God that God Almighty hasn't said. So Myron and Sneeko, whoever your brothers are, with all due respect, please, do not say this statement. You can say a man in Islam has a right to marry one, two, three, four wives. True. Haq. But to say that he can go sleep around is false. That man will get the capital punishment just as a woman would. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.